to elections to avoid truncating the nation's democracy. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this critical press conference as we strive to build an endurable democracy, strengthen democratic institutions, create an environment conducive for the conduct of credible elections, and ensure political stability and judicial reforms as court orders and judgment have far-reaching implications and consequences for the survival of democracy in Nigeria. As the umbrella body of all the registered political parties in Nigeria, IPAC is committed in deepening democracy and upholding democratic values, ethos, ethics, and ideas in the quest for a better society. This is consistent with the aspirations of all lovers of democracy in Nigeria and globally. Nigerians are united in their desire to foster sustainable democracy and development and will resist any attempt to subvert, truncate, destabilize our hard-end democracy. Gentlemen of the press, you are aware that the River State Independent Electoral Commission has scheduled to, con to conduct local government election in the state on Saturday, 5th October 2024, in all the 23 local government areas of the state. Political parties have since submitted their nomination forms and complied with the guidelines and regulations for the conduct of the election and assured it will be free, fair, <coughs> credible, transparent, peaceful, and inclusive. Be assured that political parties and their candidates for the positions of chairman, deputy chairman, and councillors have prepared and are ready to participate in the election as scheduled. There is no going back in this critical exercise that will further deepen the nation's democracy at the grassroots levels. And consistent with the recent landmark ruling of the Supreme Court, or Supreme Court on local government autonomy meant to bring development and government to the grassroots. Election is the beauty of democracy, particularly at the third tier of government, which is nearest to the people. Local government election must be supported and encouraged by all of us of representative governance in Nigeria. It is on this note that IPAC backs the River State local government election and all other elections across the country within the ambit of the law. What the council strongly condemned was the high cost of nomination fees, which was aimed at excluding credible aspirants who could not afford the outrageous fees, as well as sudden change of electoral laws to undermine the national leadership of political parties and subvert the electoral process. We maintain that it is inappropriate to change the rule and the goalposts in the middle of the game and or take undue advantage against fellow contestants. For democracy to strive, there must be a level playing field for all parties and their candidates participating in the elections in Nigeria. Electoral integrity cannot be compromised for any reason or for no reason whatsoever. In the same way, elections cannot be stopped by judicial fiat in favor of political actors, jobbers, and hirelings in pursuit of their inordinate ambition. This is what truncated the June 12, 1993 presidential election, a judge to be the freest election in the country, when some political clowns surreptitiously procured an order of the court to stop the much expected presidential election meant to usher in a democratic government after years of military rule. It was a dark period in the nation's history. It will be unfair unjust and unacceptable to repeat this national nightmare at the local government election level, as obtained in River State, where some reactionary forces are bent on stopping the election stated for this weekend. Sadly, there have been conflicting court orders in support and against the local government election in the state and forum shopping for desperate politicians to procure court orders that will subvert the nation's democracy. If this dangerous precedence is allowed, 
be assured that there will be no more elections in Nigeria as failed politicians masquerading as Democrats will approach the court to procure orders to stop elections they are not prepared for. This must not be allowed to happen again after June 12, 1993 presidential election in peace. As a major stakeholder in the democratic process, IPAC will not fold its arms and allow political machines to trade away the nation's hard earned democracy using the judiciary as a cover. By issuing conflicting orders and judgment, the judiciary has become a tool in the hands of powerful individuals to undermine our imagined constitutional rule. The integrity of the judiciary is at stake as a temple of justice and bastion of democracy. The reverse local government election presents another opportunity for the judiciary to purge itself of political influence and justify the confidence of Nigeria that Nigerians suppose in it. Recall that a few weeks ago, concern by recent development in the polity with regards to the role of judiciary in the democratic process and with a clear understanding of the critical role of IPAC as the incubator of leadership within the executive and legislative arms across the three tiers of government and to a large extent, the judiciary as it, re as it relates to the appointment of judges at all levels. The council thought it, it was necessary to convene a roundtable discussion among relevant stakeholders to explore the judiciary's role in consolidating democracy in Nigeria, identify challenges, and propose solutions to enhance the judiciary's effectiveness. Participants at the roundtable caught across stakeholders, including government officials, judicial officers, leaders of political parties, development partners, legal practitioners, civil society organizations, security agencies, academic researchers, and the media, etc., were unanimous that the judiciary must reinvent itself or be the ban of sustainable democracy in Nigeria. This is why IPA called on the new Chief Justice of Nigeria and the Chairman of National Judicial Council to thoroughly investigate and sanction erring judicial officers. This will go a long way to redeem the battered image of the judiciary in its handling of political matters, particularly elections at all levels. It is time for Nigerians to stand on the side of sustainable democracy. It is time to deepen democracy at all levels of government. Therefore, political parties in Nigeria will participate in the reverse local government election on Saturday on the 5th of October 2024. It is our civil right. Accordingly, I call on the good people of Rivers to turn up in mass this Saturday and vote for the candidates of their choice. Again, council urges the Inspector General of Police and the relevant security agencies to provide adequate security for the this, for this smooth conduct of the local government election in the state. It is time for stakeholders to demonstrate patriotism it is time for all stakeholders and lovers of democracy to demonstrate that democracy has come to stay in Nigeria. We will keep watching the tree, the tree of demo, watering the tree of democracy and deepening its root to yield its fruit to the long-suffering compatriots who desire and deserve dividends of democracy to cushion the effect of economic hardship the country is facing today. The will of the people as expressed in the ballot must be respected all the states that are here to conduct local government election should expedite action to do so within the ambit of the law. The era of caretaker committee to administer the affairs of local government in Nigeria is over with the recent Supreme Court landmark judgment which granted financial autonomy to them. It must be noted that it is a Supreme Court judgment that has now accelerated the conduct of local government election across the country, which some misguided politicians want to abort for personal aggrandizement. This will not happen under our watch. Finally, IPAC takes uh, cognizance of the irregularities and malpractices that mar elections in Nigeria, particularly elections conducted by various state independent electoral commissions, SIEC, and and has severally called for their scrapping to enable the Independent Electoral Commission to conduct all local government 
uh, elections. This will restore confidence and trust in the conduct of elections in Nigeria. IPAC is also going to review the process of all the local government elections so far conducted across the states in Nigeria. Finally, IPAC has presented its proposal to the National Assembly in its review of the Constitution and the Electoral Act and hopes that the National Assembly will do the needful. Ours is an emerging democracy. It will continue to deepen and will strengthen it. The River State government, local government election this weekend is another step to fostering sustainable democracy and development in the country. It will hold by the grace of God. Thank you, the audience. Okay, in the absence of uh, questions, we well, thank you. One question. Uh, Anthony Momoli is my name from Global Television. Uh, my question is how far are the political parties and IPAC willing to go to ensure that uh, the statements and commitments you made in this press briefing will be taken to the last act? Okay, uh, thank you. It's very simple. IPAC has the umbrella, but all registered political parties have their structures across down to the third tier of government. And we are the ones participating in this election. As such, what the parties will do is to direct the state organ, which we have done, to ensure they participate in the election and all the candidates. And if the, uh, the governors use their strong influence to uh, try to force them? We have, we have the judiciary, and that is why we have been calling on the judiciary and still calling on the judiciary to stand firm to defend the hand and democracy. It's simple. Thank you. Yes, please, um, let, let, me, let me give my own bit of reaction. We are here as chairman for political parties. Our opinions differ on some issues. We are not here to, I'm not here to give a blanket check on any state local government election. As SDP, we have sued six states local government elections. The process we are not following. So I'm here to discuss issues of judicial recklessness in creating this position, not to endorse any state governor that do not comply with the law. That is the position of SDP. I'm not here to endorse any state local government election that are not clear about the process. I just want to register this as a chairman of Social Democratic Party. Well, are you also worried that uh, the APC and the PDP, the party chairman, are not here? I know what? I'm not here. So well, you, you, you see, that is where we are getting it wrong. The, the entire problem is being created by the judiciary. If we do not address the judicial recklessness in creating confusion within the political parties and political space, we can never get it right. If the judiciary is over and doing some of these reckless behaviors, abusing of the electoral act 2022 as amended, you won't have this problem that we are having today. The laws are very clear. Any governor that complies with the law will not have any issue. But any governor that cut corners and seek for support, we will not support it because we are undermining our democracy. Our democracy is already very fragile. So I'm not here to endorse any state governor recklessness in terms of not complying with the Electoral Act 2022. We said that governors should comply, and it's the reason why we took six states to court, because they violated this law. I think this question so, is so why the APC and PDP challenge. So the APC representative was here. Uh, he left for some reasons. Uh, uh, well, PDP and most the APC uh, representative was here. But the whole gamut of this meeting was to discuss these problems that is disrupting the entire political parties. It's not just the river, but that still are affected. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I think uh, also we have to, uh, just as uh, chairman of, uh, my brother chairman of SDB has said, you see, we believe in process. 
we believe in rule of law. As his party has taken six days to court, you had the chairman when he said, we are going to review some of these elections conducted in some other states. But we must say it emphatically that the problem we are having today has to do with the judicial rascality and the excesses of the judiciary. Court injunctions are picked on the street, and that is not how it's supposed to be. Put the other party on notice, you discover that the man that came for injunction will run away. That is how you have seen court orders flying, do this, don't do that. You do this, don't do that. But there is a law that says you cannot stop an election pending the determination of the case. It is settled. So we cannot even stop any election. So the processes are there. If the law has said so, why are you jumping up and down on forum shop? The new CJM said it aptly that she would deal with judges, cum lawyers, whose duties are to go and procure black market injunctions. That's it. That's what they're talking about. We cannot continue in that process, in that manner. Judiciary should help us save this democracy. They should help us. They should not be looking towards those with deep pockets. That is what we are seeing today. Somebody will be boasting that he will get the injunction. Oh, you see him get the injunction. Like what is happening in Federal High Court here in Abuja. Has the law not said you cannot stop an election? The law has said so. So every election will go on, then you go to court and challenge it, even before the conduct of the election. So IPAC will revisit all those local government elections that have been done, whether they comply with the rules of engagement. That is the summary. But you cannot stop the election of rivers. It has to go on. And IPAC will endorse it.